Hi, I'm Peter, ground crew extraordinaire. It's baseball season here in America. Professional stadiums are getting packed with thousands of hot, bloated, sweaty fans chowing down on the nearest grease-filled foods, and 2.6 million adolescents from the ages of 6 to 12 are having a blast learning the ins and outs of baseball while their parents frantically try to take a video of their kids about with their iPhones. But there's one thing that I see kids, coaches, and parents all do wrong. Today I'll be teaching you the ins and outs of how to make Zionsville Little League fields look like this and not like this. The first thing you'll need to do is get to a baseball field maintenance shed, which are conveniently located in or around one of these two buildings. Next, once you have a chalker thingy, a batter's box stencil, and a rake, it's time to get started on one of the most fulfilling experiences of your life. Walk over to that big dirt circle with this wacky thing in the center. Pick up that state-of-the-art batter's box template and place it next to the white thing that looks like a house, also known as home plate. Make sure the handle of the template lines up with this part of home plate. And then next, make sure that the template has made a visible impression on the dirt. That is very important. Once that magical piece of metal has made a perfectly rectangular impression on the dirt, pick it up and you should see something beautiful like this. Next, you're going to want to go over and get the chalker. This exquisite piece of machinery is what you'll use to artfully craft your batter's box and foul lines. Line up your chalker with one of the lines that you made with the template. But before you start blissfully lining a batter's box for a sport that Teddy Roosevelt even once said was the only true American sport, you should engage the flow of the chalk so your canvas of red dirt doesn't come out as, as blank as a work of modern art. To do this, all you have to do is shift that shiny little lever on the front of the chalker down a few notches. Now you can proceed with lining the rectangular force field that keeps the batters in their place. Now there are a few acquired skills that take a long time to master the making of perfectly chalk boxes like the ones that I make. So I'm going to give you a couple pointers on how to make your boxes look even better than everybody else's. Tip number one, make sure you're drawing the straightest line possible. So straight even that a ruler couldn't draw so straight. Tip number two, when lining the boxes, sometimes the chalker doesn't put out enough chalk, so you might have to redo the lines to make them look even better. Tip number three, not every batter's box will be as perfect and good looking as the, season, as the season pros like me make. So don't get down on yourself when it's not as good as you want it to be. 